woman here is on my side, you're right. She's saying, don't do it, right? Don't do it. Because they always have a, even if it's not a bad word, if it's a little bit off, they kill me. So I won't do it. I'll never do it again, actually. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see about that. But Larry Kudlow would never say a bad word, not in public. CNBC senior contributor, host of the Larry Kudlow Show on Cumulus Radio. Uh, Larry, welcome aboard. Thank you, Steve, as always. All right. So um, before we get to your, 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 where you are in your possible Senate run, um, you had an interview with Donald Trump. Uh, you know what gets me? There's a national poll out today, um, and he's got 44%. So what the media will say is, or his detractors will say is, that means there's 56 percent who don't favor Trump. Well, there's seven, eight candidates. Yeah, that's just a stupid line. Um, I interviewed Donald Monday. I interviewed uh, John Kasich in his bus Monday. I interviewed Jeb Bush uh, on set Monday. It was great, uh, great stuff. And one thing I want to say about particularly Trump and, and John Kasich, they both came down the home stretch in the New Hampshire primary, developing strong, positive, optimistic economic growth and jobs messages. You know, can do, we can solve, we can restore America. As Donald said, we can make America great. And it's funny because I had a sense that Monday that those messages would carry those guys. You know, and sure enough, Trump had a landslide. Kasich moved up big to second place. And actually, Jeb Bush, I'll give him credit. I mean, he didn't quite make third, but it was very close. And it, it reinforces my opinion, Steve, that you want to win in politics. Message is crucial. Not horse race stuff. Message. And optimism wins. Growth wins. Uh, can do, solve problems wins. And I saw that right there on, on last Tuesday, and I'm hoping to see it again in South Carolina. Well, but you know John Kasich isn't going to be anywhere near anywhere in, in South Carolina. Well, you're asking me horse race. <laughs> I'm not, I, can't take the, I can't take the bit, because I, I don't know. I mean, Steve, I honestly don't know. I mean, he got the New York Times endorsement. He's, he's, his, he's the most liberal guy up there. I mean, I don't see him winning another 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 state, maybe well, Ohio. I, I will challenge you on that. He is not a liberal. He is not a liberal. He's never been a liberal. Not economically speaking, but, he, but, but on social issues. And, you know, we just got to accept the Supreme Court on gay marriage because they spoke. And I, I mean, if the New York Times endorses you, uh, you're not going to get you're not going to win a Republican nomination. Well, it's not my favorite badge of honor. I will agree with you <laughs> on that point. But I will say that John is um, really getting his sea legs on a strong economic message. And by the way, a strong national security message. And look, Donald Trump continues. I mean, he went positive in a major way up in New Hampshire after he got out of the funk of Iowa. And it showed and people rallying to his uh, side. And I think he's very strong. Look, South Carolina might not necessarily be a Donald Trump state, but I think he has an excellent chance to win big in South Carolina. You're saying Kasich can't win in South Carolina? I don't know that. I just don't know that, Steve. All right. Well, that, that's interesting. Ted Cruz is going to be very tough in South Carolina. Ted ran kind of a lackluster operation in New Hampshire. He was terrific in Iowa. And by the way, I want to say I give Cruz enormous credit for fighting the ethanol lobby and the ethanol mandate in the state of Iowa and uh, beating Governor Branstead on that. You've got to give Cruz big, big, big credits for that free market capitalist position. All right. Let me uh, ask you about the, the other side real quick. I don't know if you caught any of the debate uh, last night, uh, Hillary and Bernie. Um, well, first of all, what's wrong with their system where Hillary gets trounced and she comes away with just as many delegates <laughs> out of New Hampshire as Bernie? I don't understand it. I just I don't understand. It. I mean, she had a, she had another near death experience, um, as far as I'm concerned. By the way, the, I, I guess the big winner of that debate was Winston Churchill, with FDR second and Henry Kissinger. <laughs> yeah, and third. Henry Kissinger I, was the big loser, right? I, I thought that was just hilarious. <laughs> but here's the deal: Bernie Sanders has a message. Okay, as I said before, messages matter. Right. Now, it's not my kind of message. It's government runs everything, takes all your money. Message. But would you tell me what her message is, besides women need to vote right. for me? Right, she's a woman. Right. Tell me what her message is. I don't understand. I'll give you another message, and this is going to be a very big problem if she gets the nomination. Uh, cops 
uh, uh, harass and kill black people. Oh, I, I tweeted this last night. I tweeted this last night. It just blew me away yep. how she turned against America's brave yep. police forces. She'll never that be able to live that down. Awful. All right, let me ask just you. Awful. Let me ask. So where are we? When can we get an announcement one way or the other? Are you running for the uh, U.S. Senate from Connecticut? Uh, there will be an announcement this coming week. Ah, so ne next week. That is correct. Ah, well, you got, you know, when you make it, you got to uh, let us know immediately because we got to get you on that day. Steve Malzberg, you're never far from my phone. <laughs> hey, have a great weekend. Stay warm. It's going to get very Happy cold. Happy Valentine's. Steve. Yes, you too, and to your lovely wife. Thank, Thank you, Larry. Thanks. All right, folks, we're coming back with Gimme Five. This is a very unique Gimme Five. You're not going to want to miss it. Don't go away.